Hope you enjoy this clip, and if you do, please like and subscribe. So I want to dive into what a quant research internship at Jane Street actually looks like. And I know in the big tech, you have like a very well-scoped set of uh, tasks basically outlined by your manager, but in the trading industry, like things are always changing. So mm -hmm. I would expect that to not be the case. So can you kind of describe to a five-year-old what your project looks like? Oh, that's a good question. Um, trading strategies can truly come from anywhere. Yeah. Everyone has this sort of information, right. but what do you do with this information? That is sort of the crux of these projects. Right. It's sort of like, hey, try this on the data, mm -hmm. or hey, generate new data, mm -hmm. right? A lot of the data that's that's like that's analyzed is you know classic trading data. Mm -hmm. you can grab it from Bloomberg, and but sort of like you know what else is data, right? What else in the world, not just in the trading world, but in the real world, right? Mm -hmm. The real world impacts the market. Yeah, the market impacts. The world so it, you know you'd be foolish i think to not use real world data right i think i think and i think jane street is embracing a lot of that too and so i'm like where else can we get data that can give us that leg up i saw in a video i think it was joe's video with his brother oh yes where his brother describes like this crazy scenario where oh let's use satellite imagery to look at um how full wells are in, in order to predict uh, some commodity prices and stuff like that that was creative um i think that's a good, you know, if, if not, it's a bit of an embellishment for sure, but it, it captures the spirit of what you should expect yeah. in terms of like um, certain certain research projects. Well, what's the craziest like rumor you've heard about? The one of craziest one rumor? of those things, yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah. Uh, I have to think about that. That's that's a that's a hard one. But I think one of the craziest things I've heard was something about um, oil. So I believe oh, I, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna get the details so long. Um, <laughs> I believe there was like a or there was this is oil but like. I don't want to say reserve mm -hmm. in uh, I want to say Texas mm -hmm. um, that like had a had a had a leak uh -huh. had a pipe leak and that you know for obvious reasons impacted certain oil prices yeah, yeah. and certain natural gas uh, so you want, you want to be the first to find that information yeah okay. um I've heard rumors and I don't know if they're true uh -huh. and you could have figured you could have seen that the day before no one would tell me how you would have seen that the day before. It just you would have known that it was going to break down. It was a setup. It, it, you you know, it, I don't know. That, that it was. It seemed very suspicious to me that someone could say that. Right. Um. I'm also sure that like you would want to make use of Twitter. I'm sure Twitter drives a lot of mm. right? Yeah. So Twitter. Uh. Yeah. So Twitter can be. Um. Right. You think of all these high profile. You know, not just. You know, not just politician. If if Tesla, you know, if Elon Musk tweets something, or Tesla, we've all we've all seen that happen. Yeah. Um. You know, if Reddit decides GameStop's going up, we've also seen that. Happen. Right. Yeah. Um. There's a lot of sort of um big high trading um the sort of like big public figures in finance. Um. I think of Jim Cramer as mm -hmm. the biggest one, the, the big angry man with the button. Mm -hmm. Um. I know when Musk made the the what is it the blue check mark um, mm -hmm. on like a subscription basis. I know someone. Faked uh, Eli Lilly account said something stupid. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. The, the stock went down. So right, yeah, that, that yeah, that's in the right flavor for sure. I see that makes sense. What are some memorable like social events you had that summer? I think this is very true among a lot of firms. I think they like to flex a little bit mm -hmm. to show off a little bit of their wealth. Uh, we had a MoMA party. Nice. Uh, we had a party at MoMA. I think we rented out the whole MoMA for a night. Nice. Um, and we just. We, we there were drinks. We got to like we got to like walk around the garden. There's a lot of free food, uh, a lot of partying. It, it was fun. It was, it was very fun. And again, they like to like you know cater to the interns, right? Yeah. You all of course have like research, like specific events, right? For in terms of research, we went to escape rooms a couple times. Uh, you know, we just we had these like constant. We had mo we had a lot of research interns, mm -hmm. but we just like you know we just have our our uh, our manager take us out mm -hmm. uh, to a nice expensive restaurant. Nice. Uh, eat a bit, talk a bit about like you know how we find the internship. You know, what we like. A little bit of training games because they want to like test us constantly. Right? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, how much poker was played? Everyone plays poker. If you if you can't handle people talking about poker all the time, it's not for you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Because people <laughs> will be talking about poker. Day one, day zero actually, before the internship started, mm -hmm. um, there was already like a like a five hundred dollar buy-in table among the interns mm -hmm. going on. Like like it, that's crazy. Like it was high stakes. Yeah. And, and it's kind of like a finance culture thing uh -huh. where it's like you, you taking bets, making markets, like yeah, about like your life. I mean, that's technically what you do on the job. It is right. It's sort of like bets. It's sort of executing, yeah. right? Exactly. Right. You're just placing bets. Do you do you also want to talk about your trip to London? Yes, that's right. Uh, so London trip. So the London trip is just like you spend a week in London, mm -hmm. and we kind of play a training game while also like 
exploring the new offers. Uh -huh. And I think as a trader and tra as a someone in trading research, you should understand how worldwide markets work. Things are different, right? So yeah. like not the market doesn't operate exactly the same in uh, in like the EU as it does in the US. Oh, right? what are some main differences? Um, I think the uh, I think the biggest one that I like to point to is uh, the American versus European options. Um, oh right. I actually learned about how those works in class. Oh really? Yeah, but I can't don't put me on the spot. I can't okay. explain it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um but yeah, there's a lot of like nuanced stuff in terms of like uh, regulations and like things you can and can't do. Mm -hmm. Um I don't know all of them because yeah. I've never traded in in London or ever actually. So um and yeah. also James Street does invite you to actually travel a lot to their uh -huh. to foreign offices. Yeah. Um it's a very common practice, I think, at James Street. A lot of times we'll just have people or like full timers like spend six months just in another office figuring like you know training and doing their job there mm -hmm. as opposed to um, in their home office, which is pretty cool. That's awesome. And also fun fact for the audience, we actually went to a trading competition together. Traders at yeah. MIT. At MIT. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It was really fun. And one of the things we did for fun was an Esmathon hosted by J Street, mm. which you said you did in the summer as well. Yes, that's right. So can you describe how the Esmathon works? It's a J Street specialty, which is essentially estimating things. Mm -hmm. Estimating quantities of like obscure things. They, they, the problems can be like, the problems are truly wild. Like, I have an example. Uh, when we were at MIT, we had to estimate the area of the triangle formed by the three lowest attending NBA stadiums. Yes. So, you know, that's just an example. Yeah. There's, and there's plenty of things. Like right. And so, yeah. right. Exactly as Kevin said, I think these problems are very interesting because they, like, right, they're, they go beyond math, right? Uh -huh. Like, obviously, we all know how to find the area of a triangle, right? But, like, what other, what other information do you need to know? Well, you know, just like world knowledge. Right. Exactly. Exactly as you said, right? Being a trader means you got to be, Right. You gotta not only understand math and statistics, you gotta understand the real world too. Right. I was also curious if you had any moments where maybe you came in expecting something, but then when you actually did the internship, you realized, oh, that's not what actually happens. I expected a lot of like expected to be a very dirty place, mm -hmm. which it was. But I think I also I was I was kind of like pleasantly surprised by how like different people were. Nice. Or like, you know, people are the people in finance are like not one dimensional, I think. Yeah. Um, some people are. That's, that's, you know, that's, but that's people in general, right? <laughs> I think that was that was a pleasant surprise for me in terms of like, hey, people are genuinely interesting people here and not just I like money. I think finally I expected um to actually sort of trade. Maybe this is more like wishful thinking though. Mm -hmm. I was expecting to like even though I was a researcher, I knew I had some idea that like research and trading might have been like very similar, mm -hmm. considering I talked to some of the people who got the trading and we were like we got handed off like the exact same like um, like onboarding sheet. Oh, nice. we're like, okay, that, that that means something, right? Right. I, you know, I still did. I still managed to, you know, engage in mock trading, feel the thrill of like making money and like and like having to reevaluate like what my strategy is, mm -hmm. which is like commonplace. Mm -hmm. yeah, it would have been nice to be like, I made this much money for the firm, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so yeah, I guess those are some of my expectations. Um, can you talk about the perks you got? I know a lot of people mm -hmm. care about perks. What kind of perks did you get? I feel like. Every day, I'm, every day I'm seeing a new James Street shirt that I've never seen. Are you serious? F okay. Uh, we're gonna have to wait like 20 minutes. Okay, right. that's fine. Or we'll hang out. All right, so now onto what people really want to know, which are the perks. So what kind of merch did you get this summer? Yeah, so um, so a couple of things. My friend's a little shirt, a lot of clothes. There's like a sweater, I think, that came with it. It's a great shirt. Um, Cute, it's a nice shirt. Um, they also, you know, we also got like classic stuff like this water bottle right here. I think among other things, if you get, get a, um, if you get like, if you get a five, if you get an offer or if you, if you can make like the final round, mm -hmm. I think we expect to get a lot of things. Like yeah. A hat, um, a backpack. Um, there was a, it's like a yoga mat. I think I got them. I don't know. It was, like, it was a blanket yeah. as well. I think it was like candy from like a local candy store. That's pretty sick. Yeah, it was pretty awesome actually. Yeah. They have like, it was like a nice big uh, goodie bag, goodie box that they like sent over to my home. What about the office? What are some office perks? Oh, office perks include um, a snacks. They got all sorts of snacks. Oh. We have a smoothie bar nice. um, where uh, where our chefs will make a lot of uh, smoothies. Mm. Speaking of which, we have chefs. Um, they make breakfast and lunch. Mm. Um, the food's amazing. They have a lot of options. There's a constant salad bar. In case you don't like anything uh, that they offer, um, they're, they're they're pretty nice about like dietary restrictions as well. I think apart from that, uh, the office has a lot of your typical sort of like setups in terms of like a nice break room. Mm -hmm. You got ping pong, they got uh, pool table, 
Um, there's this little beer, there's this little like section with beer that's only accessible after hours. You know, it, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's a nice office. Feels, feels startup y a little bit, which is good. If you want, a, you want an office to feel startup y. Cool. So I only have two more questions for you. The first thing is what was your favorite part of the internship? A few moments later. Don't say the people. Don't want to say. The people. I'm not gonna say. I, I want to. I want to say the people. <laughs> Out of the end. The people. <laughs> but honestly, the food was kind of good. You can say that. That's good. I'm gonna say yeah, that. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. What's the least favorite part though? You know what Michelle said? What? What it ended. <laughs> that's cringe. <laughs> The food was amazing. Oh my god. Yeah. So New York people and people who've gone to New York know the food is amazing. Mm-hmm. That's a good plus. Yeah. But as I mentioned before, uh, we have a set of chefs work just to give us food. Right. Gives us really high quality food. And mm-hmm. I think um, and I'm not gonna lie, I have been gained many pounds there, unfortunately. <laughs> it's true, it happened. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, the food was amazing. The people the people were good too, of course. What about uh, your least favorite part? It's kinda hard to pick one. I think Whoa, what are you trying to say about history? I no, 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 no. I'm <laughs> saying they're very good. I'm just trying to pick okay. one part. Okay. Um, you know, hopefully this doesn't like stop people from applying. Mm-hmm. But I think one of my least favorite parts was probably some of the classes. So for yeah, so Jane Street, um, along with the, basically every firm has classes. Yeah, right. You gotta learn. You gotta learn finance. If okay. You're gonna be there. And honestly, like, I, I think this is just personal. I'm not very good at. I, I don't. I don't like going to classes. Oh yeah, I don't um, like going to classes. Yeah, exactly. Classes. I mean, but like you know, it was important, and I think. You know, if I didn't take those classes, I would have done a lot worse. So, but yeah, it was. It's hard to pick the least favorite part. I think the internship overall is very well structured. Mm-hmm. Um, has a lot of cool components um, and it's a lot of fun overall. Yeah, awesome. So uh, hopefully, uh, this has been helpful. Uh, well, then thank you, Kevin. Is, is that way to all the questions? <laughs> yeah, that's all the questions. Okay, okay, cool. Hopefully, you guys learned a lot. I guess um, I learned a lot. Yeah. So uh, hopefully, hopefully, this has motivated you to apply. Mm-hmm. Um, and hopefully not too many of you to not apply. Uh, JC will be lucky to have some of you uh, applying and maybe training and researching for them one day too. Yeah. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Goated. Goated. That was great.